All right, guys, welcome back to Wild Outdoor Living. We're here for another review. Today, we're talking about the long-term review of the 510 Freerider Classic. This is the original pair that I showed you um, a couple of years ago now, actually. These were new at the time. Uh, if you look back at that video, you can see what they look like originally. They have taken quite a beating. This is a pair of shoes that replaced them. These have a couple months of use on them, um, almost almost exclusively mountain bike, a little bit of day use. But these have had a full year of every single day, uh, riding to and from work, wearing them all day at work, and then a lot of mountain biking uh, on top of that. And then probably another year of occasional use as well. So these are definitely done. Overall, they held up really well. I would say with that much use, I was really impressed with how much life I got out of them. They've been through several different bikes over a long period of time. One thing that I notice as these age is they get a lot softer. So this shoe is extremely flexible now. It starts out a lot stiffer, offers a lot more support. Uh, they start out with a really grippy sole to begin with. They almost get grippier as they age to a point. Um, the sole in this one now has, has very large holes in it. So if you were to step onto a puddle. Your feet are going to get wet in these shoes at this point. The actual upper of this shoe is held up for the most part. It's got a couple of rips in it. All the laces are still together. Basically all that's happened to is the sole has, has sort of started to disintegrate um, and the shoe has become extremely soft. So that's the, that's the main thing that's happened over over, like I say, a lot of use. It's been asked, you know, with a, a sole being this soft um, from the beginning, how is that gonna hold up? Especially if you were to use it like on, on a bike touring trip. Um, I can pretty much say at this point, if you were to buy a new pair of these and ride them across the country, they would do just fine. You could probably ride these shoes on several, several very long tours and get a lot of life out of them walking, riding day to day. Um, they'll hold up pretty well for you. They are soft, but the, the uppers are very durable. And and even, even once they're completely worn out, they're still pretty usable. So pretty impressed with long-term durability. So for a shoe that is basically a sneaker, durability is very good. All right, guys, that's all I got for you for this video. If you guys have any questions about these shoes or anything else, please leave them in the comments down below. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you feel like it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.